And how many essays do you think you wrote? Like, first time. Okay. Um, I started, I guess, like in, in was it July? Mm -hmm. Yeah, when like, okay, if you're when doing the workshop. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Okay, I'm saying like, just literally writing an essay with, with, mm -hmm. with I, the, the thought that it's going to be a commoner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I'd say like July, but I wrote, I wrote how many essays? I wrote, um, I guess, five. Like, what do you mean by a college of voting? Counting even supplementary? No, that's the personal supplement. Yeah, supplementary. Wow. Same, same. I feel that thing. That December, guys. I have a Google Doc of literally 37 that pages December. with all my essays. 37 pages. I swear, I was, I was writing. You know, like, you even think it's ethic control. Because, okay, some of these schools ask the same question. Based, so you try, but it's I still a lot. Yeah, because you still have to change the details by doing this. Yeah, like that time that. you are trying to make your application to the school specific. Yeah, you can't just Yeah, do. but I wrote a lot of essays that Christmas. December, that December was honestly the worst December, honestly. Hey. It gives me nightmares up to today. Madame Colombia. <laughs> same time as Josh. Um, July. Okay, let's give me some. I wrote, <laughs> you know, writing. <laughs> writing wasn't my still not my strong word, so meaning is struggle. So I'm at two three. When my personal struggle, struggle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with all my aces, but yeah, I I I wrote the first one, which I got ten ten, and then got the supplement. Let me just put it in there that I also worked on my R and D supplement. I did for like 10 schools before. <laughs> no, I did tell them. Like, no one asked. What people so we can ask people to ask. No, I don't know. No, no, like, guys, it oh, no, I don't you can ask. ask. Like, but actually, no. No, don't do it. Write about yourself. <laughs> yeah. Man, <no>. Yeah. <laughs> same, but not same. Um, I had a question and I forgot. Oh, what was your common app about? Which do you remember which prompt you chose? If you don't remember, just give us like a very shallow which, which prompt what your choose? common app was about. Um which prompt? I think I chose like the, the last prompt, the one that right, like, about says, everything. Yeah. <laughs> and I wrote about like Fanta orange and <laughs> it was deep, I'm yeah. Wait for it. Yeah. Like I wrote about like Fanta orange, like how my person <laughs> It's like Fanta already. Yeah. Okay, if I was a soda, what soda would I be? Soda would you be? I'd be Sprite, hands down. I don't know if I'd be a Sprite. Who are you all flat? Like. <laughs> it runs deep. You need to savour. So that you can get. No, maybe, I'd, maybe I'd be a Fanta Black Current. But when I choose to be a Shakey, I'm going to. Okay, so uh, I feel like Martha, you've talked about this, but what was your experience writing essays? It's quite tough. It's struggle. <laughs> um, I, I, I said this before, but like writing wasn't, it wasn't easy for me. And like just finding concrete ideas that I can actually write about and expand on was really hard. But eventually, I funny thing is I settled on the very first essay I wrote. Like even after writing from July, 
for July, what the August, August, September, October, like October 31st, I just submitted on it in July. It's ironic. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, I guess I also said to them like the first essay I wrote, because like after writing the first essay, and then I wrote others, and then I was like, eh, then that's not it. Um, but I swear I was getting ideas like in the middle of the night, like it's 12.30, I'm, I, I want to put my phone down, yes. and this idea comes, and I write that essay at that point. Because I knew if I sleep on it, it's gone like that. I will try and write it the next morning, it will just be trash. Yeah. Okay, do you feel like you had a, a hook? You know, some people say you have a niche. Oh. Let me tell you, Paka, today, I don't know what, what I'm okay. <laughs> Same, personally, um, <laughs> in a Paka, like, something specific, you know what? <laughs> we are not going to balance ourselves. <laughs> <down. laughs> so, so how important do you think essays are in your application and in the general, like, for other people? Okay, I'd say, okay, the importance of an essay. Okay, this is a very subjective opinion, I guess, like, just based on my opinion. Number one, the school you're applying to matters. I feel like yeah. some schools you can convince them with an essay. Some schools are just pure, pure meritocratic on like your SAT scores. Mm. Like you just you have to, 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 to nail the scores. But like for my school and the schools I apply to, um, essays were and are very important. Because it's me. I'd say it's my essays that get me in, not my score. I'm a good writer. Hey. Um, madam. Yeah. Um. Okay. Generally, I think they're very important, mm -hmm. especially like if if you feel your scores won't do you justice, then you'll heavily rely on your writing. But even with your scores, you can't. any essay resources like what it always gives while while you are writing that you feel you can share i can share mm. youtube why not youtube yeah. if you haven't subscribed like <laughs> and share <laughs> no but honestly yeah. speaking um i don't know shout out to all the youtubers out there akina i have forgotten their names but yeah um i really watch a lot of youtube videos like for, for people who had like got in, got into Harvard, because I actually didn't use like sites to go and read. You mm. see, I was banking literally on essays that that okay. were on YouTube. Yeah, man, I love medium because like I, I told my one of my friends, I, like I told him I was struggling with writing and everything, and I was like, oh my gosh, game, just try reading like blogs or articles on medium. You have like nice ideas, so medium. Bayani, you get to give you five free weeks per month. Yeah. So if you want to read more, you have to pay. But it's like, I think it's five dollars a month. I don't know. Okay. Okay. I don't know. But, but YouTube is free. Yeah. You know. <laughs> 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 That's enough marketing for Sandra. <laughs> Any okay. essay advice? Any essay advice? Mm, advice for writing essays? Um, I, I, okay, I don't think it's going to be different from what like you guys have probably heard from her videos um but it's just like right find something that because these these admissions officers are very good at like reading between the lines just like reading your essay and the rest of your application and finding out if it's indeed about you so right even though it sounds cliche right from the heart and say like just find something that you know you can it is mm -hmm. very well you and it's not necessarily yeah for example me i wrote about Fanta orange and it seems like your idea doesn't have to be like that extreme like even the most simplest of things just like make it very honest i'd say yeah okay i think i'd say don't try to be american or okay it is what you're saying but um write about you and how you grew up and how 
You don't have to write about Hey, I just to I call myself. Um, hey, when when professors are it like, it was an example. <laughs> but like, you don't have to write about. You don't have to write at all. Oh, someone is one block from. We don't have blocks. blocks. Yeah, the estate house number. Okay. This one, I don't know if like. Yeah, that's yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So you don't have to try like really, really hard to appeal to the American head because you're not American. You're Kenyan or. African or not American, so and partially yeah. the reason you're getting is because you're Kenyan. So if you're exactly. trying to be American, why would exactly. they exactly like they, they you. don't they want you because you're African? Okay, did I say that well? Yeah, they want you because you're African, okay. um, no other reason. So <laughs> play that card and playing that card includes avoiding those yeah. blocks, blocks and. Vacation, vacation, backpacking across Back Europe, safari. Yeah, just don't don't force issues. Yeah. <laughs> it has, okay, it's it's what we are trying to say. But yeah, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Any general application advice for like filling in the common lab? Anything you have for us? Hey, don't procrastinate. Ooh, hey. Yeah, like don't procrastinate because it gets it gets tough. To like balance everything, and then you don't, you, you actually don't realize how much work there is to be done until you have to do it. So, if, if you, in your head, it's like, oh, it's documents, letters, come on up, and I'm done. Documents are like five, how many schools are you doing? Ten, you have 50 documents. Letters are like three times it's how many copies. Yeah, so start early, start now. Yeah, I'd say the same as like what just to reiterate what Martha has said, like. Start early, don't procrastinate, and then on top of that, like you have to be very resilient, like because there's a lot of stuff that I guess can happen that is just going to make you feel like it's very easy, like to give up, to just like because at times it becomes such a bother. For example, like you send documents in to school, the documents are sent in a single package, and then you go and check on your portal, they have only received like two of the documents. So like, and then you start, you start emailing, they tell you to fax documents, at that time you don't even have those documents, so you are constantly emailing. Yeah, where do people and I'm like, where, do Ata Kenya kuna fax? Like, honestly, yeah, so like, it, at times it, it gets very easy for you to just say, but yeah, don't, don't be like that, be very resilient every day. Oh, wow. And also like on top of that, if you... Join a university in Kenya, so you'll be where you really feel comfortable, and you'll just be like, okay, after all, I made it to your end, yes, and I'm doing the course I wanted to do. This stuff really isn't worth it. But look at your bigger picture. If indeed maybe you're doing medicine or like law, and you're passionate about it, by all means, like proceed with that. Other courses. I think the opportunities that you can get <laughs> is that shade? It's not, not shade. No, it's not shade. It's, it's really, shade. it's real advice. Don't be comfortable with it. It's not shade. Don't and say it, and yeah. also, if you feel you want to do medicine abroad, go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing is stopping. Don't settle in your <coughs> mediocrity. Okay. Yeah. Financial <laughs> aid. <laughs> financial aid. Let's talk about financial aid. So obviously it was a big part of the application. So how did you apply for financial aid? How did you apply for aid? Um, yeah, so I think the process is the same. Yeah. Generally, so you fill the TSS profile, which asks a lot of questions and a lot of, like given our upbringing, you they might feel, yeah, yeah, you don't know what your parents are. And so like, and even when you ask them, such questions are so intrusive to them and that, <laughs> They might not be very willing <laughs> to give you the if you ask your parents how much they are. Or you're like, Mom, I need your tax return. Yeah. Yeah, so like you might try to ask for them and it might be a bit difficult to start disclaimer, but generally just fill the CSS and then on that note it's it's paid for but you shouldn't have to pay for it. Ask the school for a waiver. You'll get a waiver and then send your tax return your parents' tax returns or bank statements, sometimes both of them, that might be a form you need to fill, it depends on your school. Um, I, I 
who say they can be careful when you're filling the forms because like some forms are not online like the, the there's the ispa yeah because oh, yeah. the css is online the ispa you have to like fill um yeah, yeah so if you maybe put you add an extra zero that you're not hey. supposed to add hey. yeah, you are you're you going from one hundred thousand to, to one million. million yeah um so just like be careful and then um what else can i say like if it's asking for waivers um ask early yeah. imagine i didn't get waivers i paid all the css wow, wow, wow. <laughs> this one is okay. rich if if you're like for early decision if you haven't emailed them by now it's too it's late. quite late okay you can try it's quite late <laughs> wow. so for the dealer decision i guess sometime in november is fine i found out about waivers literally like two weeks to the deadline it was way too late no but like some schools don't like don't oh, yeah. Don't, yeah, have don't have waivers hey you'll write an email you'll get a response you won't even apply to that school actually they know how to politely say no mm. i don't believe in that <laughs> So out of the schools you got into, okay, what age did you get? I got age? eight for, okay, how much? Use student. percentages. I don't use amounts. Do you know the percentages? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, how about is full like a hundred percent? Pomona was full a hundred percent. Um, in Wisconsin, I didn't apply for for like the scholarship, like the deadline passed. There's like a King's Mockery scholarship. Oh yeah, those who go on credit check. No way! Are you serious? It's by it's by that family. So sometimes they go and take the students from that school and take them on vacation to some island. Private no. jet. I know, I know a chick who who like who, they were taken on vacation by that. I want to go to a. I want like a friend. Yeah, like spring break, like all the mortgage scholars. Let's <laughs> jet set. Jet set you. Okay. Guys. <laughs> Now you know <laughs> the opportunities out here. You can teach private jet. How much age did you get at Columbia? I also got a hundred percent student. Yeah. In short, we would be broke. Even that one, if it was ninety-nine, we still couldn't. One percent. One percent. You know what you're talking about. Ah, I got to talk about that. <laughs> so, do you have to pay back the aid? Is it student loans? Is it grants? What, what is it? <laughs> Mother, mother, what is that statement? <laughs> mother has a famous saying for this. <laughs> I don't have a thing. It's, it's, it's a, mine is a grant, so I don't have to pay it back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's also a grant. Um, student loans. Uh, <laughs> I didn't sign up for loans. <laughs> you signed up for grants. <laughs> and so that's about financial. There's not much about it. We all do the same thing.